Shona May. Shona looked to be a dress. Monoxia Bunyan. Wonderful, she thought to herself. She turned to her husband, Alfred May, and said, do I really have to put up with this, Alfred? And Alfred said, she's your mother. Mm. Well, she's your great aunt, so you go in and talk to her, Shona said to her, not terribly impressed. Look, just go and talk to her, Vixen. It's been years. We need to touch base. Alfred sat there in the BMW, and Shona reluctantly opened the door, got out, came up to the front door of Monoxia and knocked. She was a working woman. She was no witch. But she was. It was in her. And shortly, Shalandra May opened the door. Now, Lucy, I'm glad... She stopped. Oh, yes, she said to herself. Come in, Shona. Shona came inside Monoxia. They sat down in the lounge, and uh, the fire was going in. Soon enough, Shalander appeared with tin tams and hot chocolates. It's Alfred in the car, she said. Shana nodded. Hmm, indeed. You're expecting uh, Lucy Potter to return? Queried Shana. She's due any day now. Assumed that was her, replied Shalander. Oh, I see. She's off in Britain, having adventures, said Shalander. Well, mother, I'm doing well, you know. Despite you thinking I should really be following in your ways, I'm doing well. Old Sydney Town is good for me. You have craft talent, said Shalandra, and you should be using it, Shona. You betrayed the community going into Muggledom and <sighs> just involving yourself with all the ways of man. They don't like our kind. They never really did. They never really will. Why even bother? I like the lifestyle, said Shona. Bondi is a great place to go down and be seen. In that bikini of yours, said Shalandra disapprovingly. So what, mother? Keep with the times. Shona May was the daughter of Shalandra May from a while back. Their father was around the traps. Shona's father was around the traps, and so was her brother. Sort of out there a bit. And he was a wizarding sort of fella, as her brother was. But Shalandra never really commented on Shona to Lucy or others. Kept that quiet, because it was an old dalliance, which she didn't really want to talk about terribly much. They were not technically married, Shalandra and uh, Shona's father, but that was life as a witch, wasn't it? You didn't always obey the rules. Shalandra showed Shona that afternoon some photo albums of Lucy and their adventures together, and Shona mused over them, because Shona had gotten word of Lucy Potter from knowledge here and there. She'd been around and chatted occasionally. But mostly she was caught up in her business life in Sydney town with her husband, Alfred, and they were pursuing regular muggledom and regular muggledom high society. That's what they felt they were made of and what they should be part of. But they lingered. They lingered a bit of a craft in her, and she knew she'd been drawn down to Bunyan, perhaps for a reason. When, they, when she left that afternoon, her and Alfred wandered into Kuma Town and stayed at the, the bunkhouse. And she uh, laid there on the bed, and she took out her old wand, which she'd had from younger years, because she'd brought it along with her for uh, contemplation on this visit to her mother's, and tapped it onto her finger and looked to the ceiling. And just was in one of those moods.